Let's discuss this problem which appeared in KVUI 2014 uh, under S Bureau S X. And uh, you see the statement of the question out there. Let n greater than equal to three and uh, c one c two uh, dot 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 up to c n r circles with the radii r one r two r three up to r n respectively. And assume that c i and c i plus one touches each other externally for i starting from one to n minus one. So it is also given that the x-axis on the line y equal to 2 root 2x plus 10 are tangential uh, to each of these circles. So this is the particular line y equal to 2 root 2x plus 10 and uh, this is the x-axis. So you can see that a series of circles are touching both the lines and they are externally touching each other. So we will be having a continuous uh, uh, externally touching circle which will be touching the x-axis in the line also. Uh, so we need to find the common ratio of the geometric sequence r1, r2, r3 up to rn. So I think the figure part is clear to all of you and uh, from the figure you can see that uh, I have taken the angle, this particular angle to be theta and uh, we can definitely write down this tan theta value to be equal to 2 root 2 because uh, 2 root 2 is the slope of the line and the line equation is given in the form of y equal to mx plus c so that m part 2 root 2 has to be the slope of the line so tan theta is 2 root 2 <coughs> and uh, we need to find the common ratio of the geometric sequence so we can plan to find the ratio of uh, r2 and r1 so we need to basically find out the ratio r2 by r1 and that will be sufficient to find the common ratio so to find r2 by r1 like we can apply the condition that uh, from the figure um, we can say that this much angle this angle should be half of theta so this particular angle has to be theta by 2 so from the figure we can write down that uh, the length pc1 the length pc1 must be equal to r1 by sine theta by 2 Okay, because this angle is 90 degrees, so I am taking sine theta by 2 and that sine theta by 2 will be perpendicular that is R1 divided by hypotenuse that is PC1. So PC1 must be R1 by sine theta 2 and similarly sine theta 2 can also be written as R2 divided by PC2. So PC2 can be written as R2 divided by sine theta by 2. So from the figure, we can write down PC1 minus PC2. So that will come out to be R1 minus R2 divided by sine theta by 2. And PC1 minus PC2 is nothing but the distance C1, C2. And uh, the distance uh, C1, C2 can be easily said to be, this distance will be R2 and this length will be R1. So C1, C2 is nothing but R1 plus R2. So we are getting a relation that is uh, R1 minus R2 divided by R1 plus R2. So that is coming out to be sine theta by 2. So, um, so this also implies just taking the reciprocal. So R1 plus R2 divided by R1 minus R2. So that can very well easily be written as 1 by sine theta by 2. Now to find the ratio R2 by R1, we can apply the component to dividendo procedures. We are applying component to dividendo. We can write down 2R1 divided by 2R2. So that will come out to be 1 uh, plus uh, sine theta by 2 divided by 1 minus sine theta by 2. So from here we will get the ratio R1 by R2. And for that we need the value of sine theta by 2. Now for sine theta by 2, we have already know the value of tan theta to be 2 root 2. So from tan theta we can go to tan theta by 2 using the formula of some multiple angle. So 2 tan theta by 2 by 1 minus tan square theta by 2. This is going to give us the value of tan theta which is 2 root 2. So from here we can uh, write down a quadratic equation that is tan square theta by 2. Uh, plus 1 by root 2 tan theta by 2 uh, minus 1 is equal to 0 and from here the value of tan theta by 2 can be calculated to be 
let us use this Rudracharya process so tan theta by 2 is going to have a positive value out there and uh, the value which is coming out to be 1 by root 2 so tan theta by 2 is 1 by root 2 so since tan theta by 2 is 1 by root 2 sin theta by 2 can also be calculated to be um, sin tan theta by 2 is 1 by root 2 so this must be the perpendicular and this must be the base perpendicular by base and sin theta by 2 is nothing but perpendicular divided by hypotenuse which is base square plus perpendicular square so sin theta by 2 is 1 by root 3 so the ratio r1 by r2 the ratio r1 by r2 can be cracked or the ratio r2 by r1 rather can be cracked to be 1 minus sin theta by 2 divided by 1 plus sin theta by 2 so this is going to be root 3 minus 1 divided by root 3 plus 1 and uh, we can simply um, rationalize this thing and on rationalizing we will be getting the ratio r2 by r1 to be 2 minus root 3 and since r2 by r1 is 2 minus root 3 similarly we can say that uh, the same thing is going to happen for the other ratio like r3 by r2 r4 by r3 r5 by r4 so this ratio is every time going to be constant and this will be acting as a common ratio of the